Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I had something really awesome happen to me the day after Daylight Savings Time. I had a post on Instagram, or a reel as they call it, go viral. Viral for me meaning, wow, I don't know, 5 to 10x what it normally does. Um, and it was, a, a, I'll post it here, or I'll put a whatever up to it. Um, it was a video of me opening my watch chest of drawers, uh, making a joke about how I have to set them all the day after daylight saving time, which clearly I don't because they're automatic so they're dead. Some of the quartz ones might be dead. It was really meant to be uh, kind of a joke, but I guess it went vi viral as the kids say. And my Instagram counter has been going up. Uh, that's, pff, that's jumped like 250 in like a day or two, which for me is like a crazy amount. Anyway, so I figured I would do this video since the questions are starting up again, especially on that reel and then in the email. Where did you get that done? How did you get it built? So really quickly, I'll go over it. And if you want to attempt this yourself or you know, contact the people that I'd say, you're more than welcome to. Um, number one, though, probably most importantly, the video is not sponsored by the people I'm going to talk about. Um, they simply provided me a service. Uh, I got no money for it, no favors, no nothing. Just happy with what they did. And this goes back a couple of years ago. I had this built um, in the height of pandemic. It was like 2021 or so. Uh, so what it is, is uh, this big cabinet that you see, this was made by, I don't know, you call them a cabinet maker, a furniture maker. Um, it's Da Vinci Designs. They're in Deer Park, New York. If you Google it, there's another Da Vinci. I don't know, they're in another state. Don't do that one. This guy's got no website. So it's Da Vinci Designs in Deer Park. The guy's name is Ralph Da Vinci. And I was introduced to him a few years ago and I was doing more than a few years ago, probably five, five years ago, I was doing work in a bathroom. And I needed a custom vanity because the sizing, whoever I bought the house from had put in a custom vanity, so the sizing had to be custom. Anyway, very uh, nice solution he came up with. I liked his work. And we got to talking, and he had said that he has a client that's a big watch fan. He knew what I did for business. And he's like, you know, I built this guy a watch chest. You know, maybe one day I build one for you. And I, you know, <laughs> planted the seed. Years later now, he's done my kitchen. He's done a whole bunch of other stuff for me. But he did this watch chest. And it's very simple, actually. It's a piece of furniture. What makes it special, well, is that it matches my bedroom furniture, which is important for my wife, because we don't want to just get, you know, you can go to a store and just get an empty chest of drawers. You know, you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Ikea even, and just get empty drawers. We'll talk about the inserts in a minute. That's where the magic happens. Uh, but it doesn't, if it doesn't match your furniture, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, and my furniture is kind of like a blondish wood, distressed looking. And Ralph said to me, he said, Mark, no problem. He goes, I'll sketch the whole thing out for you. Uh, yeah, obviously, I'll build it. Uh, he goes, just bring me in one drawer front from one of your other pieces of furniture in the room, and we will match it. And sure enough, I mean, they did. Is it 100%? No, but it's like, I, I doubt anybody would say, you know, oh, wow, that's different than that. It's like a 95% match. It's a really, really amazing match. Um, and I'm saying I didn't want Home Depot, Lowe's, nothing wrong with that stuff, or Ikea. This is like real furniture. The wood is solid. It's beautiful, beautifully milled. There's craftsmanship going on in this thing. Um, probably much nicer than the room it is in. Uh, so Ralph does the outside chest. Again, I'm also not going to talk about price, simply because that would be unfair. Number one, this was a number of years ago. I believe, it was, uh, I believe it was two years ago. Um, material prices, especially through pandemic, um, have really changed. So I really can't talk about price, nor do I want to, so I don't want to set any expectations. Needless to say, this was not an inexpensive thing. You know, uh, so we get the drawers. Number two, the inserts. This is where the magic is, because Ralph's just making us a cabinet, right, with five beautiful drawers that are just empty and hollow. There's nothing in them company in Ohio that he works with and that I worked with directly as well called Sterling Buffet. Uh, that's their website, I believe, sterlingbuffet.com. They're in Ohio. I'm going to put a, all this stuff in the uh, video description down below um, and also maybe some measurements of stuff if you're really interested. Uh, but basically, I worked with them. I took some empty watch boxes. I went those 12 slot, slot watch boxes, maybe get off of Amazon or something. And I took some measurements of some cubbies and some pillows. And I sent them some samples. And they produced these full-size trays that hold, I want to say, 55 watches. Is it five deep by 11 wide? Something like that. I, I, I don't know. I might be, maybe it's 11 by 4. Whatever. Maybe it's 11 by 4. I'm not looking at it now, obviously. I'm in my office. Um, but they built this whole thing. It's felt lined. It's, um, so it's felt covered wood. 
um, the drawer is covered in felt. Uh, and then I made it such that there's an empty area to the right of each tray. So I can put in, whether it be a wallet, other jewelry, straps, tools. I fill it up with all sorts of junk, I, as we all probably will. Um, but again, this part was not inexpensive either. Uh, you can imagine, they're like hand sewing the pillows and stuff but it's really nice furniture. Uh, it looks really good. It holds all my watches. Sure, somewhat, I, going back to the reel I posted and people commented that some of them were, I can't even say this stuff on camera, it's horrible, but people say it's just ridiculous. Yeah, some of them are not the most expensive watches. There are $50 watches there. There are $1,000 watches there. There are watches costing way more than that. They're all mixed up. There's a whole drawer of Islanders. I mean, come on, it's my brand, I love it. Uh, but whatever, it'll hold all your watches and it's just, it's closed, it's convenient. You put the drawers down and you don't see anything. It's beautiful and you have a whole countertop to put whatever you want on it. Mine actually, believe it or not, has a hermit crab tank on it with one hermit crab in it that's from Maryland from like seven years ago or six years ago. Um, my whole family gave up on the poor guy, so I, I adopted him. Um, but <laughs> that's about it. This is the watch chest. Like I said, I'll put info down below, give you some measurements and stuff, and I hopefully did my job well and put a lot of B-roll in this video for you to kind of see different angles and, and, and things. That's it. This has been Mark from LongArmWatch.com talking about my watch storage solution. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so. Questions, comments, anything else you want to add, put it down below. And I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.